Hello everyone, welcome back to 38 minutes of permadeath. Boy, we had trouble with frigates yesterday. Oh man, but I think I figured out something. Let's debrief this commander if we can. <laughs> uh, yeah, we should be okay. So, you know, I don't normally fly in first person and I mean, for one thing, it's not very cinematically pleasing. But for another thing, it's kind of, oh god, look at all that. It's kind of um, difficult for me to place myself sort of in the universe um, without being able to see the ship and around the ship. But I've been practicing because I figured out, oh nice, that uh, part of my problem uh, is that the frigates aren't communicating with me, but I think it's because they're not seeing me. So I put myself in first person and I went frigate shopping and guess what? Most frigates talk to me. I don't know if that's why, but we got a bunch of ships now, so we'll just go over some of them here. Okay, so I've got um, another support frigate and I think this is it right here. So this support frigate right here is going to be really good for trade expeditions because it's got a high trade uh, amount and we can bring up the other numbers by assigning it to other things. But um, it's got the standard minus 15 expedition fuel cost. That's awesome. And it's plus two on trading. Uh, our other support uh, vessel is not as good but it's a C class so it's going to come up and it's going to be great for industrial missions so we'll keep it on industrial missions for that purpose okay um, let's see what else I got here's a couple more these are both really good uh, for exploration it's got an 8 on exploration on that one and this one also has eight on exploration, but it also has seven on trade. So that might be pretty good. I found, what did I find? I found a pretty good ship. This one right here is really awesome. And uh, it's got great numbers for combat and exploration, and it's 34 industrial. So even though it's an A, um, it's got all these extra higher numbers already in place. You know, you compare that to this exploration, which is awesome. It's 39 exploration, but to put it on other missions wouldn't be so great, but we'll have to to bring those numbers up. But it's going to be awesome for a balanced expedition. So well, that's where we're at right now. We've got two S-Class ships, uh, one combat, one trade. The combat one isn't that great. It's only 25, but it's got 25, 10, 9, and 11 on other uh, areas. So those are pretty good numbers, I think. Okay, so we got two S classes, four A's, four B's, and two C's. I haven't been able to find too many C class vessels. All right, let's see if I have any fuel. I have a thousand pounds of fuel, so we can send out something here. Let's see if we can find a really good one. Okay, here's a good trade mission. Let's see if we can do a trade mission. We've got this. There's 34 points in trade. And here's another 29 in trade. Another 24. Let's send it with a combat ship. And let's find a great exploration ship. There's a 10 in it. In, oh, that's industrial. Excuse me. Here's a 9. Let's see what we got. We have 107 points. We're only going to use 700 tons. Let's add some help. Oh, I can't. This is permadeath. <laughs> we need to get these. Uh, all of these. I wonder if I have any of them before I send that out. Craft products. Remember exactly where that's at. There they are. 
I can do explosive drones and fuel oxidizer, so let's do that. Fuel oxidizer, because that'll help. Explosive drones aren't really going to help on this. Let's go back to that great trade mission. Okay. And we'll grab our trade and combat. And these two trades. And now we need a support. And which one did I say was going to go? Support 9, right there. All right. And we'll add fuel oxidizer. See if that helps. That adds to the duration of the expedition while only requiring the same amount of fuel. So we're adding plus 30% time. So it's going to be day after tomorrow before we see this fleet come back. All right, here we go. Off they go. And we got really good stars on that. 107, you know, versus three stars. That's pretty awesome. <coughs> Swallowed wrong. <laughs> uh, what was the other thing today? So I've done a lot of flying around. We're on the other side of the galaxy still. I added another uh, expedition room right here. And let's go fly around uh, in fir first person and see if we can get those frigates to respond to me the same way now that I'm recording because you know how things are. <laughs> Everything's work works great until you hit the record button. <laughs> I've also practiced a lot on fighting pirates in first person. I haven't flown really in first person since I started playing. Like the first month I was flying around in first person. Um, but then I discovered that it was easier for me to fly in third, and I haven't really flown in first person since then. Except you'll notice to scan distant or small planets and moons. Um, it just is so much easier to do in first person. So we have a couple of fleets here. I've already pretty thoroughly checked them out. We'll go check this one out. We're all about building that fleet. And the next step is going to be the Artemis mission. And uh, we've set down the three boosters, and now we just need to talk to Artemis. So we're going to pull away from the fleet, and turn around so that we're not accidentally shooting the good guys. And you'll watch the screen for the hostiles. Oh, he's right in front of us. It's only one. See, he shows up as a red blip right on our screen. And the Positron looks awesome in first person, too. <laughs> so, it is easier to navigate in first person. Because um, you can really see where things are once you've turned around. That's the big problem in third person. Once you turn around and you're not facing something, it's harder to see. So we're just gonna fly up to just anything and we got contact right away. That is a support specialist. We don't need any more. This is about a medium quality, I, I would say. And now we're gonna go down there. Try not to hit anything. Contact right away. And another support specialist, low quality. So you can see the difference between those two. Let's go to a different system. I've been here for a while. I've bought two ships here already. So um, I talked this over with Lava Lamp, and uh, he basically said wealthy systems are going to spawn more fleets. And so, therefore, you're going to have more of a chance um, at buying ships. What do we got? An opulent GEC system. Let's so see what they are willing to talk to us about. I think tomorrow uh, we'll start with the Artemis mission. 
it's going to take several uh, days to do it. It's not a short mission. Oh, maybe we should talk to Polo. Space anomaly. So in a lot of ways, it's easier to fly in first person, but like I said, it's not cinematically pleasing. And um, it's also easier for me spatially with my vision to see um, what I'm doing when I'm flying in third person. And that's why I didn't notice until today that ship shopping was easier. That's not a bad multi-tool. We're gonna go grab a great multi-tool here in a few minutes. Gotta go back to the other side of the galaxy. But I just wanna look at another fleet and we'll just look at one here. Okay. Um, okay. Whatever that was, I'll have to watch back and see. <laughs> we got those two levels of survival or whatever it was I can't even remember now but that's what the milestones are now walking around in first person not at all comfortable for me I feel like I'm shorter than the blades of grass <laughs> all right so Here's a fleet up here. You can see it on the screen. And then once the rocks go away, you can see it's in front of us. We're just going to look at these. Um, unless it's a really awesome one, I'm not going to buy anything. Okay. So we got a trade specialist. It's only 18. It has no combat. So that's a no. I think all three of them are trade specialists right here. As I was approaching, that's what it looked like. Another fleet just came in. Oops, I passed it. <laughs> Let's try that again. Did it leave? Oh, that's what happened, okay. I passed it and it left. But there's a fresh fleet right there. So we'll look at one more. And then we're gonna go home go through portal, buy a new multi-tool. It's another trade. Ah, uh, disappeared. So it's not here anymore. It was very good anyway. <laughs> they just keep leaving me. <laughs> Stop leaving me. <laughs> but see, we're in a wealthy system, so there's fleets coming in all over the place now. And we're in first person, so they're talking to us. We have another hostile. Oh my goodness. Uh, yeah, yucky. Let's turn away from the fleet so that we don't accidentally hit friendlies. There he is, right there above us. <laughs> All right, let's go to the space station and uh, we'll go to the portal and then we'll go grab a, another multi-tool. I've got parts for it. I don't know if I have all the parts to build stuff. Uh, let's see. Looks like I need some deuterium. But we gotta go home anyway. I think the deuterium is actually in a container and not just on the freighter. Hi, Gekki people. <laughs> Perma Snow Base.
and uh, what else do we need? Technology modules. I have way, way too much stuff in my suit. <laughs> Just way too much. <laughs> well, that should have been on the freighter. Okay, let's see here. We need tech module sent deuterium. Deuterium. I think three is probably enough. Microprocessors. Just check in really quickly to make sure I don't have any uh, nanotubes sitting around. Okay. And oops, gotta change that back. Let's pull car up in nanotubes. Oops, right behind us. <laughs> and perma snow portal. Now we're going through the planet, so it's going to take an hour. <laughs> All right. Let go. <laughs> oh, that's nice. The ship is over there. <laughs> okay. Where's the instructions? Here we go. Alrighty. This is another alien multi tool found by a uh, lava lamp. And the, it is bird, sun, moon, boat. Ship, ship, scarab, fish, parachute, high, scarab, triangle, triangle. And see, it says Atlas transport error, location corrupted. That means that we are going to an anomalous planet. That's not where the multi-tool is, that's where the portal is. A lot of times when you portal, you portal to a, a regular planet, you know. Uh, a lush or a desert or whatever, but a regular one. This is an anomalous planet. And I didn't look before, but I don't... I think there was any uh, ossified stars nearby. Here's an animal though. We'll take that. And just to show you really quickly, a lot of people have problems finding the trophies. When you set your visor on something, it instead of scanning, it will say that it's a trophy, okay? Um, I don't think I can find one very quickly. These aren't that easy to find. Oh, oh my jetpack is dead. Um, I'd like to show you an example. Because out at a distance, you can't see uh, the little question marks. But you can tell whether you're going to be scanning something and if it's scannable then it's not um, a trophy okay but i'm not going to be able to find one of these it's <laughs> like these are so hard to find the other way to tell is to fly low and slow and you'll see a difference in the main color of the trophy so whatever color is coming out of it like those ones have pink coming out of them. This particular trophy, the Alcified Star, I believe it has a yellow color to that central light. But you can also scan for them with your visor and you just won't, it just won't be scannable. It won't do that. It'll just say that it's a trophy. So that's just another way to do that. All right, let's go. We're going to a small moon called CS Prime. It's uh, behind the planet. 
No, that is what I meant to do. Okay. So let's get up in the atmosphere so you can see all the planets and moons on the uh, central display. Okay, there's a fleet over there. As we turn around, there's gonna stuff's gonna come into view. That's a planet. And you see the difference in size between the two dots? On the upper right of the central display is a large um, uh, circle with a big atmosphere, and that's a planet. The little tiny dot is a moon, and that's it right there. It's called CS Prime. And we'll scan for it, and that's what it is. There's several com balls already dropped on this uh, minor settlement where this alien multi-tool is. Um, I don't know if there's um, a com ball in survival, but there is on permadeath, normal mode, and creative mode. So we got to get down here and slow down because we got to be down close to the planet to see com balls. And they're going to spin around, and there they are. Then we have to go up because, in fact, highlight it first. That makes it easier. Then we got to go back up into space because it's too far away. There's another good sized fleet coming in. Okay. And we're going to kill our speed. Here we go. Spamming land button. <laughs> so the com ball that I highlighted was Carrie Hart's. This is from Sword. This is from Carrie Hart or Caroline Kelly, as a lot of you know her. And this is from me right here. All right. We have a ton of stuff on us. So here's the multi-tool. It's really cool looking. It's got veining and then this green gooey light. It's got pink crystals and horns. It's pretty cool. It's plus 1% higher on the scanner and the mining and the damage is max for an alien. So first we're gonna break down the tool we have. We won't have the scatter blaster again right away, but that's okay. This stuff isn't in the best place on my multi-tool to begin with. We're picking up a ton of tech modules doing this. All right, that multi-tool is gone. We're gonna grab this one. The price is so low because I'm basically trading for the same, but this is a seven and a half million dollar multi-tool. So if you're not bringing a really valuable one with you to begin with, you're gonna pay dearly for it. Like if you're bringing the original multi-tool, it's gonna be seven million three hundred and eighty thousand, I think, something like that. Um, so watch out for that, bring lots of money. All right, we have a new multi-tool. Let's fix it. <laughs> I immediately take everything away. <laughs> Let's see if I brought that stuff. Ion battery. I don't usually bring things that I can just make. I don't have anywhere to make it. <laughs> Once again, <laughs> there's an ion battery. <laughs> I'm going to put the waveform recycler right there. And I brought one mining tool, so we're going to put that there. Need a hermetic seal. Oh, I have so much stuff. Oh, I don't need that. Does that fit? Not all of it. What about that? Some of it. That fits. Put that on the freighter. <laughs> this all, all this stuff came off the multi-tool. All right, what did we need? I forgot already. Advanced mining tool. We need a hermetic seal. Get the right button, Karen. 
When was the last time I made a hermetic seal? There it's one. <laughs> Advanced mining tool. Now, do I want it there? I think so. And we will put the terrain manipulator down there. And mining tool. There we go. Right there. And then scanners. Who knows what we're going to get with these scanners. Probably has to be rolled out. I also have engine parts <laughs> for that <laughs> for that crazy shuttle. <laughs> Alright, what do we get? Fauna's awesome. 9400. 9400. And 68. That one's not so good. We'll roll that one out later. Okay. Let's figure out where we want the main gun. I'd like to get as many things touching as possible. This, you know, this may or may not work out. Uh, what do I need? Amplified cartridges? Tetracobalt. Didn't bring any. But I can make it. And now let's put... I think we will put that. I want it to touch both the gun and an upgrade. So it'd be better if it was touching two upgrades, but we'll take it. And let's grab the pulse bitters. Oops. <laughs> There we go. What are we at? That's not very good. I didn't do very good. Uh, ah, I see. Okay. There's no damage on that one. And the damage is only six on the other two, so... We're going to have to roll that ricochet out again. And what was the other thing? Was the blaze javelin. Looks like I can put the pulse spitter on... I mean, the... the uh, Scatter blaster on there. That needs a super oxide crystal. Let's see if I have enough stuff to make a super ox oxide crystal. Yep. And the tech module, I don't have enough. So I'm going to put the scatter blaster down there. And I need another tech module. Let's see. Let's see if they sell them here really quickly. And then we'll go back home. Nope. It's not very common. You can find one or two in this guy's off uh, uh, this guy's place once in a while. Here's two. Uh, yeah, that needs another one. And I definitely cannot make a chloride lattice because I know I don't have any of that on me. All right. <laughs> there it is in perma. Now I have this shot in perma mode, normal mode, and creative mode. <laughs> and once again, we can only drop one com ball, uh, and we already have one from normal mode. Let's go home. Let me fix this first. All right. There we go. That satisfies my need for speed. Gets me far enough away that I can pulse. <laughs> Good lord, really? I'm up for it. Let's do it. <laughs> Where did he go? Oh, he disappeared. Fine. Run away before the battle. I'll take it. <laughs> All right. 
when we get back, I'm going to go ahead and jump through the teleporter back to the other side of the galaxy. And when we come back tomorrow, we will start uh, chipping away. <laughs> chipping away slowly but surely at the Artemis mission. <laughs> we already have the first bit done with the uh, triangulation. And the next step is to talk to him. And then 45,227 trips back and forth to a hollow terminus. <laughs> and we'll go through Artemis step by step because um, a lot of people, a lot of people, come into the forum and they're like, ah, it was killing me. I had to hit escape. And so we'll go through that because I don't want you to hit escape. I want you to have some faith. <laughs> have faith that Hello Games would not kill you <laughs> in something like that that you can't control. <laughs> it's part of the mission. So we need to go back here. See, it says Hollow Terminus. So that's where we're going. And we also need technology modules and some upgrades. And uh, this afternoon I will try to roll out that pulse fitter a little bit. Was it? I don't remember if it was here or not. I haven't been back to this station in a while. We came over to this side of the galaxy three episodes ago and we've been here ever since. We're not in Kansas anymore. <laughs> All right. We got scanners I can roll out and pulse spitters. Awesome. Let's dump one of these right away. <laughs> uh, clip size, fire rate. They all look the same. So we'll just start with that one. Uh, well, the damage went way up, but we still have ricochet. That's okay. I'll work on this this afternoon. All right, we got a new multi-tool. We got some frigates finally. Um, we'll, we'll grab more. Uh, I want to go at the frigates kind of slowly because I want to build those fleets up and uh, get to know the ships and see how they work together um, so that I don't just have 30 ships all of a sudden that I just got to blindly assign as quickly as possible. I also need to buy fuel. So dihydrogen, jelly, and tritium can both be bought in space stations. And uh, you put the tritium in the refiner, turn it into dihydrogen, and make fuel like that. All right, you guys. Uh, we survived another day of permadeath. <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching. Have a great day.